this Saturday afternoon, I will be receiving my PhD in mechanical engineering. <laughs> I will be receiving my PhD in civil engineering with a concentration in environmental engineering. And I will be receiving my PhD in civil engineering with a concentration in structures. We realize that we are breaking barriers when it comes to minorities uh, and also women in STEM fields. Uh, we feel like, well, I personally, I feel like it's really important for our young black and brown boys and girls to know that they can aspire to be whatever it is they wanna be, including engineers. I feel proud to be an African-American woman in, a, in the STEM field. I feel accomplished. I feel like I've set a goal and we, are examples of things that you can set your mind towards and finish. I just feel really excited because even if you feel like you can't, being here with everyone else, you really do feel like you can. You have every opportunity to succeed. And it's just really amazing to be this far. I was able to receive a Fulbright uh, Fellowship in 2015. <laughs> uh, and that was definitely life-changing. I spent uh, between seven and eight months in uh, the country of Nigeria uh, conducting my research. It was definitely an eye-opener, uh, definitely life-changing for me. And I was able to bring all of the, the things that I've gained and learned back here to the Hill. I also have had an experience studying abroad in Poland where we study different campuses in the civil engineering program in the different camp um, on the different campuses of four different um, countries. It's not all about just studying and getting good grades, but you are a citizen of the world. How are you contributing? Are you on panels? Do you contribute to global causes that are important that engineering can help with? Engineers make the world go round. Yeah. How can you help? Losing Tara was very hard on our classmates. She was driven towards education. She was so close to finishing and to know that someone can work that hard and not necessarily reap that benefit was emotionally draining for us, but it also let us know that we're blessed to be here, that we can move on, and her legacy is that she did believe in education, and through us and through all women, she's not being here, but she, in our eyes, she has her PhD because she was such a scholar. She was such a scholar. Yeah. She would have been the first woman to graduate with her PhD from the Title III program. All that coming to a head on us, we were next in line just to follow her example, follow her dedication, to follow her passion and drive. Just She was always at the engineering campus whenever she I saw her. She definitely led the way because she was, like she said, she was always at school. She was always striving for more. Just, she was always going above and beyond the call of duty. It's, yeah, not that many of us. it's not that many of <laughs> us, and as women in out. my field, we have been challenged because STEM is a male-dominated field. And the fact that we're here today, we're great. Yeah, and I, I, I feel great. appreciate my greatness. I rel I, You're relishing I, in I, it right relishing now? You're in, relishing in, in, the, in, the, <laughs> in the black girls' rocks. We are no longer hidden figures. Yeah. We, oh, we have definitely. been revealed. Don't even get me started We have that. been revealed. Yeah.